Hi, I'm Thor from Once Upon a Saga, and I'm currently 20 countries away from becoming the first man in history to reach every single country in the world in a single unbroken journey, completely without flying. So, so far, that has taken me five years and seven months of continuous traveling. And this is a status update. Today is the 26th of June, 2019. I'm not gonna lie, I came to Singapore about two weeks ago and I was feeling really good. Feeling that the only part that we're missing now was the Pacific. Sure, there's gonna be a lot of islands and there's a lot of great distance between them, but there's going to be a way. And I did a lot of research and I looked into it and I found that out of the 20 remaining countries, I had a way to get to three of them and then I didn't know how to get to the remaining 17 and that struck really hard with me. I didn't quite feel like giving up and quitting. However, that was a punch to the stomach. And then a week later, I had some successful meetings here in Singapore and I met with Swire Shipping and I met with uh, PIL, Pacific International Lines. And I had a meeting with Maersk and you know, it just really looks like I've been in a crowded room for a long time and everybody just moved aside and I can see the path ahead. I feel like there's a way home. I haven't been home for a very long time and that is truly my target to get home through this tunnel of countries. So without further ado, let's have a look at where we are right now. So here she is. This is our planet. This is planet Earth and all the countries we've created within it. My target is 203 countries, that's an additional 10 countries on top of the United Nations list. We started up here in Denmark on the 10th of October 2013, did 37 countries in Europe, went over the North Atlantic, came through North America, Central America, visited all the countries in South America, visited every country in the Caribbean, got up to Bahamas, back to the US, across the Atlantic Ocean, Eventually got into Western Africa, Central Africa, Southern Africa, Eastern Africa, went into the Indian Ocean here, clocked in the island nations here, back to the east coast of Africa, worked our way all the way up to the north, finished with Algeria after two years and three months, done with Africa, went back to Europe, finished the remaining countries in Europe, went to the Middle East, visited every country in the Middle East, went to the Caspian region, visited every country in the Caspian region, Went across the stands, visited every one of the stands. Went up here, got up to Mongolia, tried to go through China in order to get to Pakistan. That didn't work, had to do a 12,000 kilometer detour in 14 days coming this way around and then coming through Iran to Pakistan instead, then eventually India, Southeast Asia, clocked off the rest of Asia, made our way down here. And this is where we are today. This is Singapore, there are 20 countries left within this project. They're all here within the Pacific. And then we also have Sri Lanka and the Maldives, which will be the last two countries. Let's take a closer look. So here we are. These are the islands of Oceania. Oceania. And uh, over here, we got the United States and Mexico. Over here, we have Australia. Up here, we have Japan. And all of this stuff is basically what we need to go into now. Uh, I cannot overstate the immense distance that exists between some of these islands. These islands are not visited every day. Um, some of them, they have weekly connections by various cargo ships. Some of them have bi-weekly connections. Uh, in some cases, some of these island nations, they have one flight a week, meaning that people, they will just play football and sleep on the runway and this kind of stuff. So basically, I'm aiming at going to Indonesia now, then I'll get to Brunei and Philippines and then from Philippines I can make my way back through Indonesia to get to East Timor. From East Timor I'll get to Papua New Guinea, Papua New Guinea. and then uh, from there I will start connecting throughout. It seems like Fiji, which is here, is going to be a main hub for the uh, islands of Oceania, for the Pacific here. So Fiji will bring me to some of the nearby islands. Eventually I'll actually have to go all the way back up to Taiwan in order to meet some of the islands up here. 
and then come all the way back down and finally come down to New Zealand, go up to Australia and from Australia head on out and get up to Sri Lanka and the Maldives and then I am going home and this is something I'm really really looking forward to so obviously lots of stuff can go wrong here um, there might be some ships that I'm not given permission to go on board you can imagine that uh, there could be some bad weather out here typhoon season um, maybe visa issues although visa issues shouldn't be a big part of the remaining challenge here it seems from the remaining 20 countries I only actually need visas for two of these nations um, plus a few of the other countries where I will be applying for a uh, for a, a e-visa and those are usually not too hard so that's it people here we are and um, that's it have a really nice day let's keep on keeping on <laughs>